Russia panic. U.S. finally tests the new Super A-10 Warthog. Russia wasn't expecting this. Just when the world thought the legendary A-10 Warthog had seen its final days, the U.S. has quietly rolled out a new, upgraded version. And it's not just better. It's a beast. This Super A-10 is faster, tougher, and more deadly than ever before. Its recent test shocked not only observers but rattled defense circles around the globe. And yes, Moscow is watching closely. Why is this a big deal? Because the A-10 has always been feared for its brutal power and unmatched ground attack ability. Now, with new technology, better weapons, and smart systems, it's entering a new era of warfighting. Could this be the jet that changes the game in future battle zones? Let's break down why the Super A-10 has everyone, especially Russia, on high alert. The legend of the A-10 Warthog. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, famously called the Warthog, was designed during the Cold War to destroy Soviet tanks. Known for its brutal 30mm GAU-8 Avenger cannon and extreme durability, it earned a fearsome reputation in conflicts like the Gulf War and Afghanistan. The Warthog could take hits, fly back home, and return to the fight the next day. Its close air support role made it a hero among ground troops. Pilots loved it, enemies feared it, and the sound of its cannon became legendary. But over time, many thought its era had ended until now. The Super A-10 brings this legacy back to life. With modern upgrades, it remains the tank killer, but now with 21st century power. The US didn't just upgrade a plane, they revived an icon. What's new in the Super A-10? So what makes the Super A-10 so special? First, it's been given a digital brain. A brand new avionics system allows the pilot to process information faster and with more accuracy. It now uses an advanced heads-up display, upgraded radar, and infrared targeting pods to strike with pinpoint precision, even in poor visibility. Secondly, its weapon systems have been massively upgraded. The Super A-10 can now fire new generation smart munitions, including laser-guided bombs and advanced air-to-ground missiles. This makes it more deadly and versatile than ever before. And finally, the jet now has upgraded engines and airframe enhancements. It flies faster, stays in the air longer, and takes more punishment. This isn't just a slight improvement, this is a full transformation of an old warrior into a modern beast. Unmatched firepower. At the heart of the Warthog's power is its famous GAU-8 Avenger cannon. This 30 mimit seven-barrel monster fires nearly 4,000 rounds per minute. It can destroy tanks, armored vehicles, and bunkers with terrifying ease. The Super A-10 hasn't just kept this cannon, it has enhanced it. With improved targeting systems and stabilization, the cannon can now hit more accurately and with greater control. Pilots can engage multiple targets with deadly precision. The Avenger cannon is more than a weapon, it's a psychological tool. The sound alone causes fear on the battlefield. For Russian armored units, hearing that iconic burr may soon become their worst nightmare. Survivability like no other. The A-10 has always been a flying fortress. Built not just to fight, but to survive, its cockpit is wrapped in titanium armor known as the bathtub. This thick, protective shell allows pilots to take hits and keep flying, something most other jets can't handle. Even in the middle of enemy fire, the A-10 doesn't break apart or fall from the sky. That kind of toughness earned it deep respect from ground troops and fear from enemies. Now enter the Super A-10, and things get even better. Engineers have upgraded its protection using advanced composite armor and next-gen survivability tech. It has improved electronic jammers, smarter decoys, and even reinforced flight controls. That means if part of the aircraft is damaged, it can still fly, still shoot, and still get the pilot home safely. It's not just surviving now, it's dominating under pressure. In today's world of stealth and speed, one might think brute strength is outdated, but the Super A-10 proves otherwise. It's the battle buddy every soldier wants in the sky. Loud, fearless, and nearly impossible to bring down. When the enemy opens fire, the Super A-10 doesn't back off, it roars in closer. And that's what makes it a true legend, close air support. The A-10 has always been the king of close air support, CAS. 
It flies low and slow, giving it time to see the battlefield and make accurate strikes. Its ability to support ground forces in real time has saved countless lives in combat zones. The Super A-10 makes CAS even more effective. With better sensors and communication systems, pilots can talk directly with troops on the ground and respond faster to threats. It can operate in rough weather, day or night. Unlike faster jets that rely on speed and altitude, the A-10 fights close to the ground where the battle happens. And in this role, no jet in the world, Russian or otherwise, can compete with it. How the Super A-10 threatens Russian strategy. Russia's military strategy often relies on large numbers of armored vehicles and fast-moving ground units. The Super A-10 is designed to tear through exactly that kind of force. Its cannon and smart weapons can eliminate tanks, convoys, and troop formations with speed and accuracy. In Eastern Europe or other flashpoints, the presence of Super A-10S could seriously challenge Russian advances. It could also complicate Russian air defenses, forcing them to rethink how they approach battles. This is why the Super A-10 is more than just an upgrade. It's a direct response to Russia's military power. And for Moscow, that's a serious concern. Global reactions and strategic impact. The moment the US tested the Super A-10, the world sat up straight. NATO allies quickly welcomed the move, seeing it as a strong sign that American air support just got a serious upgrade. But it wasn't just friends who took notice. Countries like Russia and China immediately began reviewing their own battlefield plans. Why? Because the return of the A-10 in a stronger, smarter form is not just news, it's a game changer. All around the world, defense leaders are paying close attention. Nations that depend on reliable close air support, especially those dealing with ground threats, are suddenly asking, do we need our own version of this? Some are now eyeing US upgrade packages or thinking about building their own tough, low-flying war machines. The A-10 is reminding the world that you don't always need stealth to win. You need grit, power, and precision. Strategically, the Super A-10 sends a loud message. Never underestimate the old war horse with new teeth. This isn't just about bringing back a classic. It's about proving that when you mix experience with innovation, the results can shift the balance of power. In today's high-tech warfare, the Super A-10 shows that sometimes what wins the fight isn't what's newest. It's what never quits. The future of the Warthog. The U.S. Air Force had considered retiring the A-10 several times, but this new upgrade may extend its life for decades. With these improvements, the Super A-10 could remain in service well into the 2040s. There's also talk of integrating AI-assisted targeting and even drone coordination in future versions. That would make the Super A-10 even more dangerous and far more autonomous in complex combat scenarios. Whether it's in the Middle East, Europe, or the Pacific, the Super A-10 is ready to face the next generation of threats head on. And the world will be watching every time it takes off. The Super A-10 Warthog isn't just a fighter, it's a message. It says that America is still serious about close combat support, and it's not afraid to bring an old legend back into the spotlight. Russia, take note, the beast is back. What do you think of the Super A-10's return? Could it change future wars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more powerful stories from the world of aviation and defense.